Um, I gotta figure out why my fractions my fractions don't show up. That bugs me. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Um, so we we have uh, now we know a little bit about breakouts. Uh, later we're going to talk about you know we're going to give a definition to wellbore stability and just before the end of the class, but. Um, Another thing we can do with these breakouts or observations of breakouts is we can use it as a method to get information about SH max. If you recall, uh, you know, when we're trying to characterize, we need the three principal stresses. The vertical one is the easiest one to get, right? Because we can just estimate it. SH min we can get relatively easily through diagnostic fracture injection testing, right? Essentially, purposely creating hydraulic fractures and inferring information from that. And we'll talk about that really soon. So if we get SH min, okay, then, and we have observations of breakouts, and in this case, those observations come in the form of a breakout width, right? So say we had some televiewer data or some caliper data, and we could get an estimation of the breakout width in a rock, and then we knew what SH min was from D fit. And then we had some failure model. In this case, it's a more Coulomb failure model, and so that we had some um, the unconfined compressive strength data. Then essentially, we have everything we need, need on to, to plug in on the right-hand side of this equation, and we can get an estimation of S and SH max. Um, and so, you know, I think the next slide has just an example of where that was. One example where that was done. This is a, this was like a uh, experimental research uh, drilling hole. I think uh, was done in, in Germany. And in this case, um, what they did here was they had some diagnostic tests, essentially defit that were able to measure SH min down to about 3,000 feet. And then correspondingly with a modification to the test, they were also able to directly measure SH max. This is not typically done, but in this case it was a, an experimental, uh, you know, experimental opera operation. So they were able to do some additional tests and, and correspondingly at every depth where they had SH min, they were able to also measure SH max at least down to about 3,000 feet. So these were done with direct measure direct measurements, okay? And then additionally, in this region, observations from breakouts were used to infer SH max. So these, uh, and well, in this case, they were bounded. So the solid triangles and the, and the, and the open triangles were meant to mean like minimum and maximum bounds on SH max. These were done from inferences taken from SH min and the breakouts. So this is SH max. This is an estimate to SH max. And if you compare it with the actual value of SH max in that region, it's not bad. Right? And, and uh, so that's sort of what this figure is showing, that in this case, um, the estimation is pretty good, and you can get some bounds on it. 